Hey gamers, welcome back. Rick here with Game Trade Media. We are still here at PAX Unplugged, live here on Twitch. I've got Sarah from Z-Man Games. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm good, how yeah, are you, I'm Rick? loving it. Awesome. I mean, we're here in the mecca of gamedom and having a great time. Yeah. What have you seen that you've been really excited about here? besides the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been really excited to see how excited everyone is here. Mm. Everyone's so friendly and right. pumped to try the games. Right. And um, I've been really curious about checking out Chronicles of Crime okay. and it's like investigating mm. a murder I and like stuff. That. And Has yeah. your booth been as packed as, because I, I, I see your booth is like, it, it, you guys can't see it obviously, <laughs> but it's over there. Wait, the, the camera's actually. Oh, you can actually yeah, see it yeah, on the it, camera yeah, there. The camera's there, it shows it, it's in the back. <laughs> but I noticed, as I've been, had the opportunity to walk by it, it's been packed. It has been so packed. That's um, awesome. Yeah, we actually were giving away a pin ah. for our game uh, Mesozoic right here. And yeah. so um, that helped draw some people in too. Perfect. Um, well, let's talk yeah. about Mesozoic. All right, awesome. All right, so, what is this? Um, so, Mesozoic is uh, a little bit um, drafting, a little bit puzzling. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cards. Everyone has like a starter deck, and then we mix those together with some of the other cards in the box. Um, uh, once we move on and we get better at the game, we could add in some advanced cards that we have here. Oh, got, it's, there it is, the pin. Yep, there's the pin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so they have some fun other art that have different um, cool. placement rules for those. Um, but what we would do is we deal the cards out right. and then we take turns passing them around. You'd keep two for yourself, pass, okay. until we have our deck set up. Then we'd shuffle them and deal them out in a grid like you see here. Okay. Um, as you notice, there's an empty space in our grid. So right. what we're going to do is we're going to have 45 seconds to slide our cards around like one of those sliding puzzle games. Okay. You can only use one hand, so you'll slide the cards around to try to match things up to okay. get points. So um, we would want to match up our dinosaur enclosures so our dinosaurs don't escape. Okay. We would want to match up our monorails so that people can get around our dinosaur park okay and then we also have workers that are working our attractions so these trucks are workers and then if you notice our director card here is also a worker that mm -hmm. card will fill the hole at the end of the 45 nice. seconds yeah and so we play three rounds and drop the lowest score and then each time we'd be drafting those cards so mm -hmm. sometimes your zoo might have more monorails or more dinosaurs sure. and things like that yeah very cool and this game is for what age range um, so I believe we have it as 10 and up, um, no, eight and up. Nice. So it's good for kids, it's good for the whole family, right. and yeah. I also like the fact that it's kind of a small stocking stuffer size. Yes, it's a perfect stocking yeah. stuffer. It's um, $20, okay. it's already out. Um, you can get it at most game stores, okay. um, or you can order on our website. Nice, very yeah. cool. And what's that website, just in case? It's zmangames.com. There you have No it. dashes, nothing, all it's right. all one word. Very cool, yeah. so, so there's Mesozoic, mm -hmm. and that seems, about how long do those three runs oh, take? It takes about 20 minutes to do the whole thing. Great. Super quick. You can play as many times as you want. Sure. A lot of people have been telling us it's great to take to family holidays. Like So people got it for their Thanksgiving or All their right. Christmas gatherings. Perfect. Yeah. So I also noticed you brought another small stocking yes, stuffer. Yes, we do like have game. another Let's small stocking stuffer. Um, so unfortunately, this isn't a stocking stuffer since uh, it won't be out until the spring. Mm. Uh, this is our only copy that we have at the show here. Um, but it's called Narabi, and um, what we have here is we have cards that are um, stone cards mm -hmm. and condition cards. What's going to happen is every time that we set up our game, we're going to deal these out um, so that each card has a different condition. So you can never memorize what the conditions are. You sleeve them together. The sleeves are provided in the box. All right. And... Um, then we will deal them out to everybody in a circle. Okay. And we're going to be trying to get them in order um, from one to nine. Okay. You can only trade cards based on the, let's pretend we dealt out all sure. the cards. Of course, of course. Um, but um, so each of us would only have three cards and we can't mix up our own cards. I can only trade with your cards. All right. And so say these are your three and okay. these are my three, and we're trying to get them in number order. Right. Um, I would have to look at my card and see what the restriction is in order to trade it with yours. When it's my turn, my restrictions apply, but yours don't. Okay. So they only apply on your turn. Okay. Um, but it's a cooperative game, so you're trying to help each other get them in order. So you can discuss um, 
how you might want to go about getting them in order. You can say, if I trade my card with this card, do you think I would be able to trade this later on into a better spot? Okay. Um, maybe if it has a really bad restriction, you might be like, no, you shouldn't take this card yet, and things okay. like that. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. And what's the what's the uh, time range on this one when you play it? Um, it's also about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, it could take a little longer if the cards are dealt out sure. in a really wacky way. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, and it plays up to five players, which nice. is nice too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that everybody has an opportunity to get sit down and play in. Yeah, yeah What's exactly. What's this little gem in there for? Oh, so we do have a turn tracker here. Ah. The goal is to get it done in the least amount of turns as possible. Okay. Um, and then we have some words here describing how well you did. So mm. if you do it really quickly, um, your uh, serenity. Mm. It, it's a Zen garden. We're trying to get ah. our rocks aligned. I can um, see that now so on the back yeah, of it. So. You can see the uh, like the rake. Yeah, the, the, rings. the rake of the sand. Yeah. And, yep. All right. And then, of yeah. course, some of the an example of one of the conditions, the conditions. right there. Switch the stone with the stone with the player to your left. Very yep. cool. I can dig it. Yeah. Very so cool. this will only be um, twelve dollars. Nice. It's available for pre-order on our website. Mm. You can also order it from your favorite store, okay. and it'll be out sometime in the spring. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So now we go to the big game, the f the one that I was like. Oh my! When I saw this. I knew I mean, you would I mean, be excited. I mean, I'm a oh my about all the excited. games, but I love Pandemic. Oh, okay. I like the Pandemic Legacy series as yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we, I see we have Pandemic Fall of Rome. Uh huh. Let's unbox it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's right. inside. So this game will be out very soon. It'll be out uh, mid-December. Okay. Um, we do have some copies in the first look area. If anyone wants to go and try it out. Okay. Um, but here's our board. Yeah, uh, let's get it out. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll so let's way. turn it around yeah. for the viewers there. There we go. So um, a few things are different from how this works to regular pandemic. Mm -hmm. One of the things is we have our barbarians. We don't have diseases. We have barbarians, and they're trying to invade Rome. Okay. So they're all going to start in their homeland mm -hmm. and march toward Rome. So they're only going to start coming out from here. Okay. So if you draw a card like down here, like if we drew Genua, um, we wouldn't put a cube down here because they haven't marched all the way out there. So we would have to track it from the start. If there's a cube here, a cube here, then we would place it here instead. Oh, okay. So uh, placing the cubes is a lot different than in regular pandemic. Okay. Um, because our barbarians are mar uh, they're all marching towards Rome. So if you notice, all the colors are here yes. in Rome. Um, so if Rome gets sacked, we lose the game. Okay. Um, and then uh, we also have these legions um, to help us nice. protect Rome. And so we'll have our legion supply over here. When you get a legion, they'll be able to travel around with you. So you okay. can take a couple with you and you can dra drag them around. And once you get to a city with a cube and you want to get rid of the cube, We'll have to roll these dice to get rid of the cube. Nice. And then, based on how many uh, legions we have, we can roll that many oh, dice. Okay. But some of our legions might die in battle. Yeah. And so, right here, if we rolled this, we get to take away a cube and a legion. Oh, no. Sad. Yeah. Um, and then, this little eagle here is our special power that's on our character card. So if we were this character, the eagle would mean we'd get to remove two barbarians from the city. So if nice. there were two cubes there, we get to take both of them nice. off. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, how a lot of the different things here. And I see there's and some other larger yes. token pieces. So these are kind of like the cure markers in Pandemic. Okay. Yeah. But uh, what we're doing here is we're forming alliances with the barbarians, which is not how it happened in history. Right. <laughs> um, but we are trying to form an alliance with each of the barbarian tribes mm -hmm. to keep them friendly with us here in Rome. One of the things that I, I think is pretty cool is it shows all the different uh, barbarian types. You have the Anglo-Saxons and Franks, the Vandals, the Huns, mm -hmm. the Visigoths, and the Ostrogoths, which are really cool. And mm -hmm. in the back of the rule book you had mentioned before, yes, yes. they have uh, his historical notes, and it talks about all the different yep. barbarian factions yep. and how they played in history th in, in regards to Rome, mm -hmm. which is really cool and a really good a bit of like research and flavor to add to your game. Yes, yeah. I thought mm -hmm. that was really nice. And uh, as a fan of uh, Pandemic, this actually 
is really cool that you're yeah. instead of you're fighting off the plague and all that stuff you're fighting off those that were you know yeah really a part of history but check out some of these cards everybody yeah, they, these are really they have nice. some cool art on the event cards there And then another thing really that you'll notice on yeah. these mm -hmm. event cards is there's two options. Okay. And so you know how in pandemic we have our outbreak outbreak tracker on the side. Yeah. Instead we have the decline of Rome over the here. The decline of Rome. So if you yep. notice on there, there's a, a crumbling decline marker yeah. on our um, event card here. If we decide to do that option, it's usually a better option. Right. We have a penalty for that, and our tracker will go oh, down. Oh, okay. Um, so that's nice. kind of fun too so you get a choice there if you right. want to take the risk that's yeah. awesome very cool and this is going to be out you said in, in like, just a couple uh, weeks um, right. mid-december should be out um and uh you can order it from your game store or our website again right. yeah and that, so that means that this can be a gift for christmas and played on christmas day with your family yes definitely because who doesn't want to destroy or save <laughs> rome <laughs> right <laughs> on <the> Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And uh, this is for how many players? Um, oh, we actually have uh, solo rules in okay. there too, which All is right. exciting. Um, but it goes uh, one to five. All right. Again, it's a cooperative game, like all pandemics. So really, mm -hmm. you could play with other people, and all all of you could help make the decisions. You would just only have that many characters nice. out on the board so okay yeah very cool yeah. well thank you sarah for coming and showing us of all these great games from z-man games and yeah. again it's zmangames.com yes sir right? yeah if you want to go and find them and check out their website mm -hmm. but i'm sure you're on every social media platform too yes definitely we've got a facebook twitter instagram okay. so be sure to follow us too That's sarah awesome. again thank you so much thank you yeah. and yeah. we'll see you at the game store but check out this until then